Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is morning prayer for Sunday, January the 23rd. It's the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. Please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, the earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Alleluia. Psalms 24 and 29. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, the earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. For you have founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. Who shall ascend your holy hill? And who shall stand in your holy place? Those that have clean hands and pure hearts, who have not lifted their souls into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. They shall receive your blessings and righteousness from you, the God of their salvation. This is the generation that seeks your face, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Lift your heads, O you gates, lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. And who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High, strong and mighty. God the Most High, mighty in battle. Lift your heads, O you gates. Lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. Who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High of hosts. Our God is the King of glory. Alleluia, give God Most High, O you mighty. Give God Most High glory and strength. Give God Most High the glory due his name. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. Your voice is upon the waters. O God of glory, you thunder. You are upon many waters. Your voice is powerful. Your voice is full of majesty. Your voice breaks the cedars. You break the cedars of Lebanon. You make them skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. And your voice divides the flames of fire. Your voice shakes the wilderness. You shake the wilderness of Kadesh. Your voice makes the calves be born and discover the forests. And in your temple, everyone speaks of your glory. You sit upon the flood. You sit as ruler forever. You give strength to your people. You bless your people with peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, beginning at verse 9. Awake, awake, and put on strength, O arm of the Most High. Awake, as in days of old, the generations of long ago. Was it not you that cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to cross over? So the ransomed of the Most High shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I. I am he who comforts you. Why then are you afraid of a mere mortal who must die, a human being who fades like grass? You have forgotten Yahweh, your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You fear continually all the day long because of the fury of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. But where is the fury of the oppressor? The oppressed shall speedily be released. They shall not die and go down to the pit, nor shall they lack bread. For I am Yahweh your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Most High of hosts is his name. I put my words in your mouth and hidden you in the shadow of my hand, stretching out the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth and saying to Zion, You are my people. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer up our prayers and petitions. Let us pray for the church and the world. 
for the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Jennifer Ann, our bishop, for Brother Joe, our community servant, and for St. Peter's Church in search of a vicar, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, and for Doug, our governor, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For those who died, especially Brother Ronald uh, Francis, Brother Robert Patrick, Marjorie, Lloyd, and Carol. For those who are sick, especially those battling COVID, and for their families and their support groups. For Carol, for Bill, for Dolores, and for Milan. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother William, Brother Max, and Brother William, and for all of our mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Blessed be the God and Maker of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Alleluia! A canticle from the letter to the Ephesians. And please recite it with me. Alleluia! Blessed be the God and Maker of our Savior, Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless and to be full of love. God predestined us for adoption through Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of God's will, to the praise of God's glorious grace freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In Christ we have redemption and through Christ's blood the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of God's grace lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, God has made known to us the mystery of the plan set forth in Christ for the fullness of time. To gather up all things in Christ, things in heaven, and things on earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.